Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 on Carmston Farm. So I've just gone and give the sheep some water because they were in dire need of it. They were getting really low. Um, as you can tell, we are in the month of April, so we have technically progressed quite a bit. We've got lots to do now, and I mean lots to do. We really have. We've got to plant in the soybeans up in field two and three combined, which we've been waiting on for a bit. Field six are at that perfect stage now that we need to apply some um, liquid fertilizer. We're going to spray that on in this episode. Field 35, four grass, all the grass fields basically are ready to harvest again. And perfectly, what I did is I applied nitrogen. So I spread solid fertilizer on all these fields. So now, fingers crossed, we should get a good yield from them. That is the aim anyway. So there is plenty to do. But there's also a few things we want to sell. So we were waiting for April anyway to sell the wool because price of wool in April is at its peak. It's the highest you can get. But luckily, we're actually above the peak. So we're going to go and sell this wool pretty much rapidly straight away. So I'm just going to part that there because I've, I've done the, the water, but we're going to need this as well uh, just because I've got some milk to sell. Now, while we drive up to... We're actually going to go to the garden center. Now, this is absolutely overloaded. It really is. I mean, look at that. That is... I, I think that might be like... I think it's over a year, maybe a year's supply of wool. Uh, we've got 37,000 litres. And this is going to just show you how much money you can make from wool. It really is. So we're going to have to take a time because wood is overloading it. Yes, it makes things easier, one trip, but obviously it's going to be quite prone to tip over on the corners, so we need to take it steady. But as we're on the way, it's going to take a while because obviously we're using a bit of a underpower tractor I'd say for this but I really do like this massive so I thought why not uh, but let's talk about the money so we're up to 103,000 we've obviously spent quite a bit but we've also made it quite a bit and that's all pretty much come from the biogas plant so we took that f we took that first load basically on in the last episode of um, silage bales so it was a full auto load trailer and uh, I think it's about 22 bales See if we make that. I might have straightened up here. Just about. Just about. Yeah, so we've taken 22 bales. And we processed pretty much all of them. We got some good money. It's around it's around 28,000 a month. And that's with, including the three days. So every every three days we're, we're picking up about 28,000. So every 22 bales, just under 30,000 is what we're picking up from the biogas plant. Which is really good. Really good money. So... What I did is I got 35,000 litres of digestate, stored that away again. So that's sitting there nicely now for us to use after we've mowed these grass fields. I've also taken another 22 bales to process and they're processing again. Pretty nice. We've still got some of it to, to go through. I mean, the, the, the biogas plant is still full up. So it's still actually taking some of the bales. I really don't want to tip. Nope, we're all right. Um, so yeah, we got... A nice solid source of income that's going to keep coming in. And we're going to make some hay bales now because we're in really dire need of hay. I've ran out of hay completely. Got a few silage bales left. Got got some straw, but we will be getting some more of that from the linseed. But I haven't got any hay. And it's come to the point where... Oh, I can't stop. That, that was me holding onto the brakes. But with the amount of force behind from this weight, um, yeah, couldn't stop that at all. Uh, but yeah, so I've got no hay. Got no hay at all. Um, if I just actually show you the animals, you can see that uh, I've had to buy a few bales to give to the to the sheep. So I actually bought a few uh, just to tie them over for a bit. So I did actually run out of feed for them because I've got no grass, fresh grass or hay to feed them. Um, and, the sh and the cows, as you can see, another 45,000 pretty much litres of slurry, which is good to go on top of the 35,000 litres of digestate. Straw, not too bad. We don't have to worry about that as well. Uh, but uh, TMR is running low, so we do need to start making some hay. So we're gonna we're gonna mow the grass at least in this episode. Uh, we're gonna get Courseplay helping us out because there's a few jobs I need to do pretty much in all the fields. So we're gonna get some, hopefully some nice shots of the action going off. We're gonna be doing some mowing, we're gonna be doing some uh, spraying, and we're also gonna be doing some planting. Now, will the Massey get up the hill? That is the question. This is pretty tricky.
I don't think he's going to get it's just about going but uh, yeah, I think we might have picked the wrong tractor for this full brakes again just about stopped that is a hefty load so this is where we're going to be selling it the garden centre sell point now if we have a quick look at the sell prices and the wall which is here you can see that it peaks at 2147 in the month of April and at the garden centre we've got 2226 so we are pretty much well above that so this is going to bring in some hefty earnings it really is just shows how uh, how good cheap are I mean we could have turned this into something else as well but as you can see 83,000 for that that's insane but yeah look at our money 186,000 happy days so I might send this back now with the auto drive and we can move on to the next job so I'm just trying to figure out where to actually send it we don't want to sit in with the sheep again. Um, that is a good question. Where should we send this? Let's just send it to our tool shed. That should do the job. Um, I think that's fine. Right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to swap out some kit. So what I've done is I've brought down the cedar that we've currently got um, with the axiom taking all the seeds out that are currently in it and we're going to sell this we're going to actually sell it and get a direct seeder because now we've got the money to start getting that kind of kit which is obviously going to help us when we are um, working out on our environmental score and as you can tell having a good environmental score would make a difference even when we were selling that wall then so it is important to, to start focusing on this so let's get this sold um, we've got we're going to take a hit, I'd say, on the the size of the, the seed that we're going to get because they aren't normally smaller in in, in the width of the, the tool. So it is what it is. So let's repair it just because we may as well. And then we're going to sell it 129,000. Bang. Just like that. But then what we're going to do is we're going to buy ourselves now a Derek Cedar. So let's have a quick look at what we've got on the market we're going to go right to the top end here uh, because I think we're going to be looking at things like this so this one here is pretty much the best direct seeder currently that you can get um, it's 182,500 pound it's 8 meters which is a massive massive decrease on this one we had 12 meters before but we are looking for a direct seeder so we've also got this one which is also 8 meters um, the good thing about this is it holds more seeds do you know what? Let's just go out and get it. In fact, obviously, we've got to check the second-hand market because you never know. It could be sitting in here. One day I'm going to say this and it's going to be sitting in there. But no, it's not. So let's just try that again. So we'll go to Cedars again, straight to the second to last one. The uh, You can't go wrong with this. Look at it. It's a beast. It's an absolute beast. And I think, do you know what? We'll just get it as it is. 182,000. We're still sitting at 131,000. Can't complain at that. Um, the one thing I probably should have just done is check the actual demand of that. It's only 240 horsepower, so that's fine. So I'll fill this back up with seeds. I'll send it to the field. And then we'll get it cracking. We'll start up a course plate and let it do its, let it do its job, pretty much. Right, so we're all full up. We're going to have to leave them seed pallets there. But we're definitely not going to get through that many seeds. I'm sure of it. But what we want to do is change to soybeans, which isn't much I've just done. So now it's all ready. And what we can do is just send it to the field. And then we can focus on another job one to do. So we're going to go to fields. And we're going to set it to... In fact, I think I might have made a new one. Or did I put it in here? Field 2 gate, put it, send it to there, that should be fine. So we'll then move over to the John Deere, which I did park over here, just out of the way, and we're going to go sell some milk. Now, milk is not at the best price, but it's also not a bad time to sell. It's not, you don't get a big variation with milk, so even though the best time is obviously higher, 
compared to the worst time, there isn't too much difference. It's not like what we've seen with the wool, where there is a massive difference if you sell it at the right time. It's still pretty good going, so we're going to go and sell this muck because we've got 30,000 litres, which again is going to bring our money up even more. Um, and it just means that we're topping up and keeping you know, a good source of income sitting in the bank account. Look at the linseed. How nice does that look? You can tell it's getting close. So we're going to have to make sure we switch over soon and uh, do some spraying. And we're going to need narrow tyres for that as well. So, here we are. Uh, we need to empty the water out. So I'm going to have to just do this like this because there was nowhere to put it. So if we just empty... There you go, job done. So now we can fill it up with milk. Just get back in the trigger. Or maybe drive out of it and then drive back in. There you go, that worked in the end. So yeah, we just need to let that fill up and we'll go and take it to the best place. So we'll just have a quick look again where the best place is. Looks like General Store Bay 1 at the moment. What? So it's 1,300. You see what I mean? 1,368. And we're pretty much in April, which is about halfway. So it's, it's not bad at all. So General Store Bay 1, I think that's going to be there. So that's not too bad of a drive. It really isn't. But because he's over here, what we're going to quickly do is we're going to set him going before we do anything else. So yeah, you can see that he's in the field. Um, and then there's pretty much one job we need to do, which is set up a course play. So I'll get that done now, get it quickly set up, eight meters, um, and then I'll set him going. Um, we don't need to do any fertilizer on this field. So the only thing we're gonna be doing after that is just weed control and then harvest. So there we go. We are now planting in the soybeans days it's a big course it really is if we just go to here look at that it's going to take some time but uh this is why you have the help of course play so you can carry on doing other things so let's jump back over to here and we should be full up on milk which we are so we're gonna to have to do a bit of a loop unless i want to reverse in fact yeah let's reverse get rid of course play put the beacons on and we'll get ready and go and sell this milk. And then I think finally we need to set up probably another course play for the spraying. In fact, I might do the spraying myself and then set up some course play for the mowers to get work on the grass fields. I think that makes it, it makes it more sense because I want to make sure that I use uh, the scanner as well inbuilt. Now. I have only got the scanner technically on the class, which is working over there. But we can get the we can get the scanners inbuilt onto the Massey. So as long as the Massey pulls the sprayer, which I think it should do, we can then go and upgrade to make sure we've got the uh, precision farming scanner set up on that. I think that makes sense as well. Right, so this should be the sell point. So let's see how much we get from this. It's always been good money. Now I didn't get the trigger then, so I'm hoping that this works. Have we not picked the right one here? Have I made a bit of a mistake? Probably. So we're looking at that one. General store bay one, tag place. Um General Store Bay 1. Farm Store. You know what I've done? I've gone to the wrong place. I really have gone to the wrong place. So where's General Store? Surely I've not just gone driven all the way to the wrong place. There's the Cotswold. Ah, it's up here. Yep, so I absolutely like a tool. I've just driven to the wrong place. So 
let me get my bearings and I'll drive to the correct destination this time. Hopefully the price won't go down too much. Right, so I'm on actually going to the right place now, but I was looking at this field that the guy's working in, planting the this, this seeds of the soybeans. And look how big it is now that we've combined it into one. It's massive, it really is. It's going to take him some time to do that. So, we just need to pull into here, and this time it should work. We should actually get the trigger to sell the milk. There you go. So let's see how much we pick up this time. It's not going to be as much. I think last time we sold it at the peak time. It's always been the same volume because this always holds the same amount. Um, but it'll still be some good income from technically just feeding cows TMR. So there's not like much work goes into it. Now as soon as this is done, I'll be sending the, the John Deere back right where the mower is. We're going to get this hooked up to the mower. I'll start some course plays. We're also going to sort out the Massey so we can do some spraying and hopefully soon we'll have three tractors all working in separate fields and we'll be getting some serious work done and uh, being quite productive. So there we go, £31,115 bringing our total up to 162 and we've just bought one of the most expensive cedars you can buy as well. So we are doing pretty good for money, we really are. So. I'll head back now, I'll get everything sorted out, all, all the kits sorted out so we're ready to go. And then, uh, yeah, let's see how much of this we can actually get done. Right, so, everything is set up, we just need to finish off doing this with uh, the Massey and then we can set this, well we can drive this and do the spraying. Uh, within the the linseed field, so field six. So what I've done is I've added. I've actually spent nearly twenty thousand here. Fourteen thousand, nearly fifteen thousand is from having the uh, scanner on. I then put the GPS equipment on top just because I think it looks pretty cool. I've also narrowed the fenders and put narrow tires on, so I think it looks better with narrow fenders. Um, definitely does because it's not overhanging so much. Um, and then another thing that I've done is I've just changed the paint color because I want the old style because I think it looks a lot better just because it's you can tell it's got that little bit of age to it uh, but I am happy with this this uh, honestly these tractors are unbelievable they really are so there we go 20,000 change the configuration get that front weight back on lift her up and uh, you can see the GPS even inside the cab as well so now we're all set we've got narrow tires we just need to get hooked up to the sprayer this is 155 horsepower as well so it's not you know, it's not anything to joke about. It still does the job pretty well. Look at them, they are narrow. So we just get, a, get hooked up and hopefully, it's not the biggest sprayer in the world. I mean, technically, this, this should do this job fine. It really should. There we go, we're all set up. So, let's fill her up with some liquid fur. We'll be good to go. Right, so that did take actually quite some time to fill that up then. But we've got 4,300 litres, so it's 100% um, it's maxed out. And I bet the guy working in the grass field that I've sent, the John Deere, I've started him off in the woodlands grass field. I bet he's nearly done already. Uh, I've been, I had a quick look at the tank as well, it's 75% so he's got through a quarter of it already but if we have a look at the seed rate you can see that there's partial areas where it is a high seed rate so obviously that's going to have a bit of an impact so if we have a look at the soil type you can see that it's, it's silty clay that's having the negative effect on, on the amount of seeds that we're applying so it's not too bad but it's just in areas So let's crack on with this. This is going to be interesting because we're going to need quite a bit just because of the fact we are, well, there's areas in here that have just had no nitrogen at all. So it's interesting to see how much we apply here. You can see that uh, it's not going down too bad. The, the, I'm, I'm hopeful that this should last the whole, yeah, the whole way. Um, I will be using a bit of GPS on this as well. Uh, I think overall looks pretty good. 
and this will definitely last us out and it's going to be fully fertilized as well so which will bring up the yield at the end uh, we are going to sell the linseed just as a crop we're not going to be doing anything extra with it but uh, the straw that we get off it that's going to be our only source of straw so we want to try and maximize our yield out So I think this is a perfect time for me to stick in a montage of me getting through the spraying. Also the guy seeding away. Let's see how much he can get through uh, before he empties. And uh, also while the, the John Deere is mowing away. So enjoy the montage and I'll cut back in when it's done. Right, so welcome back hopefully you've just enjoyed that montage I've completely finished off the fertilizing in field six it wasn't too bad we used just just literally half half the tank so 49% left uh, the guy in the field ahead of me is probably about halfway through as well it's a big job but luckily he's still got enough seeds left so he's not finished just yet we are probably gonna have to refill though at some point before he gets that job done but what I'm gonna do is let him carry on um, because it is gonna take some serious time to finish that off it's a big job to, to seed that field with an 8 meter attachment on the back so yeah we'll just let him carry on so I'll just pop this up here the Massey didn't have any trouble pulling the sprayer which is good news uh, but as you can see he's I, I told him to skip a row so He's getting through it, he really is. Um, let's just have a quick look in the precision farming to see what's going on. So you can see he's coming now on back on his second pass through the field. Um, so not too much, he's just over halfway. Uh, if we have a look at the nitrogen levels, field six, all sorted. And if we have a look at the nitrogen levels now on the grass fields, they're all depleted. And that is because I got all the grass fields mowed using course play. So it's interesting as well to see the yield information. We've got pretty good yield in all fairness. I mean, there's a patch in field four. This one has got some, just a stretch there that's not very good. It'll be interesting to see. Yeah, that's loamy sand. So loamy sand, anything silty clay takes a hit. But as you can see, the loam really does pick up a great yield. Pretty much on everything. But what's even better now is our field scores. So environmental scores, you can see for these fields, 
shot up to 79, 78 there, got 75 on this lower end one, and even this one is at 80, so that's our highest score now. And it has brought our environmental score all the way up to 64, so now we should be getting a 4% increase on sale prices, which is great news. So if you have a look at field three and field two combined, that has shot up as well because obviously we're doing direct seeding. You can see the tillage information at the bottom of field three is, is up to 61 and this one's at 60. So hopefully by the time that's all done and harvested, we should get very, very close. In fact, we will be just under the maximum score because we're not going to be using the the, the weed control, the, the spraying that we're going to be doing with uh, the John Deere sprayer we haven't got that so we are but we are going to be just one step under that we're just technically we're one step away from having the maximum score on this field when we've done the weed control which is great news but i'm just happy that the environmental score now we're starting to see a positive outcome and we're actually having an effect on our sale prices so it has been really productive we've got quite a lot done this guy is obviously going to finish off by but by the end of this we will have all the fields planted that field's all done now field six we just got to leave it be um, and harvest that when, when we get to the chance. Um, all the grass fields have been mowed. So we just have a quick look in the field. You can see there is a pretty good turnout on grass. So what we're going to be doing is hay in the hole of this field. So I will be tedding this in between this episode and the next one. Um, and I'll probably row it up as well. I might even do maybe two of the fields and bail them up. Um, just to try and give myself a bit of a head start. And then also as well start of the next episode this field we've got the soybeans here will all be planted and i will get some rolling done as well so pretty much all we'll need to do in that field is some weed control when that happens so i'll wait for him to plant everything in i'll get it rolled i'll do a bit of tedding and then obviously do some hay on the grass fields and i think then we'll be getting closer into the year close to harvest season um it's just a few jobs left really before that but I think this is a perfect time for me to end the video. So thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up because that does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.